the problem is if want, each and every single to, person to, gets on a live and starts to so, discriminate at what, look and, at what and, 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 and look, bring look at what down Nigerians writing. and coming so each and every bringing, single saying, Listen to what I'm saying. You spoke. Uh, each and every single person gets on a live discriminating, uh, bringing down Nigerians, saying this about other countries. Each, when I'm saying about South Africans, we won't get to the problems. My solution is each and every single person, you think Nigerian, Congolese, whatever, get out of South Africa. You have much better talent outside. It is not, even South Africans will tell you get out. I have a friend that wants to come to France. I'm maybe South African. You see, he wants to come to you this, He I'll wants to start his life. He wants to do his thing. Said, get out. There's no you. solution. If you have investing, said, invest in that you, country, if, but don't stay because it's stop. hatred. It only get can get worse. I grew up there, please, and it's only please, getting it worse. I'm even shocked. Please. Nigeria will not leave South Africa. Congolese will not leave South Africa. Ghanaian will not leave South Africa. Because if you guys think that the whole of Africa will leave South Africa, then if you guys don't see who to fight. Then Zulu will fight Zaza. Zaza will start fighting uh, Soweto. These people will start on Alasi and Alasi each other. So, it can you imagine what they are writing now? Just imagine what they say, if, if you don't it, it, move, we will burn them off. Can you imagine what, it, what no, the people no, are saying? You know, it's dangerous. Jesus. It's dangerous. No, it's very, very Mama dangerous. Don't worry. Don't it's dangerous. Don't, don't, worry. Dangerous. Don't, worry. don't say don't worry I because there's people that are... There's, there's people that are... You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? is We need to get... It's not trolling, man. It's not trolling. This is my advice. Brothers and sisters, Nobody get, help, help them to maybe get out and give them other oh options. God. You know, if you build a nation with um, one mentality, you will see that a lot of people will follow the same mentality. There's the youth that's growing. You know, <laughs> give them a better solution to go to Europe instead of South Africa. You know, let them grow with that mindset. Let let now Nigerians to do that because there's only a hatred. Even let South Africans have problems with them. Let, let, I mean, let let like, come on, man. Let me tell you this, Chris. Chris, 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 let me tell you this. If you try it this year, you will hear all it. Africa, all African leaders decided that for every for every one Africa that is still in, in, in South Africa and they got to hear of it, any South Africa big diplomat will be killed. Let them, let, let, let them try it this time. You see, this time around, let them try it this let time let around. Try it. If they do that, they try it this time, they will see. Because now, we, any, everybody's any, awake any now. Let them just try it this time. They will see. Will be arrested. Any politician that is putting that agenda will be arrested and will be locked up. Because like Black Beauty said, someone is pushing, pushing that agenda. When Jonathan... Before, Black Beauty, do you see what the people are writing? You don't, what people are about, now, Black you don't worry about what people are writing. Black people cannot control them. You cannot this control them. Control. Okay, let me tell you something. Eh? Not all of them are bad. Eh? Not you know all what's of happening? Them. Problem Problem is, not all of them are bad. Saying, she was but about the bad ones are a problem. lot. Guys, the guys, wicked ones problem. are a lot among them. Not all of them are bad. Not all of them are bad. Like, But the bad ones are like 80% of them. So the good, good ones cannot even speak. Because the good ones are scared. Can I say something? Hi guys, uh, my name is Sarah. I'm Dutch. Um, regarding South Africa, they are, they literally hate all Africans, let me put it that way. They are so invested in the white man's ideology that they've even forgotten they're black themselves. And it's got nothing to do with Nigeria, it's just hate and jealousy. I mean, I'm not Nigerian myself, but it's just hate and jealousy. Sarah, Sarah, do you, have you ever lived in South Africa? No, but because I'm Dutch, we've learned a lot about South Africa. I've lived with them, and it's just hate, 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 hate towards Africa. Oh, it's almost the same language with the Africans. Dutch, yeah, right? I speak Dutch, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the same language with Africans, yeah. Their history. But I speak Africans yeah. as well. Pra Africans. Can you?
we will feel the same way about them too, right? It's the same thing. Okay, if okay, okay. Uh, actually, uh, so, uh, no, 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 what, this is what I was speaking about um, later. <laughs> this is what I was saying about certain South Africans. That's what I was saying. You know, in Congo, you know the one day, the one day, what they are doing in Congo. Ask Kenny, Kenny will tell you what they are doing in Congo. The one day, but not every single one, but this one day that are, that are living inside of Congo. But you won't see Congolese men going to and burn one day oh, because they are infiltrating the country they won't do that that's the problem that's what i was saying the problem with us south africans is that it's in our it's in our nature it's in south african men's nature you know certain men that don't think it came from a party they have that nature to fight to kill to kill yeah i, I was there i saw i saw everything I you was to understand this is it's in the nature all these men are not like Anytime. that zimbabweans are not like that we don't have i saw that in I, Chris, nature. Chris, Chris, I was nature. there i stayed there i can speak their language brothers. i can speak africans very well i brothers, saw relax. all those things brothers every time shmolo speaks i feel a need to respond to him right you come yeah. here to say it's why right. you're on it why um, that we will feel the same way if they're selling powder in our country okay so we we are not saying we are not saying nigerians nigerians are not doing these things in their country we are not saying but they are coming here they're telling us that most nigerians are doing this thing in their country which they cannot prove they literally cannot they can't prove, prove it. it i've been asking they can't them prove to give it. me proof they can't you prove know it. what they keep showing me you know what they keep showing me a TV Sorry, show, who? that's what they keep showing me. A TV show, Cox is up taller. Imagine. They watch a TV it, show and they believe it's real. It, 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 imagine. It's under, yeah, they it watch that reality. TV show called, um, called Jerusalem. That's what they watch. And they put that but, TV but show in you, their head. If you ask them, if you ask them, what are the data? Where is the statistics that show that the overwhelming number of Nigerians are involved in this trade? They cannot prove it. So are you expecting us to believe can that imagine? 50 of Nigerians are doing this when they cannot can prove it? Their oh, Hawks Department, you, their, their, their Department for Priority Crimes, have come out to say 77% of the crime in that country were committed by their own very people, right? The main 23% are Imagine, African nationals. Okay. So they cannot prove that majority of Nigerians are doing see. Some of them even come here to say they know that it's not all Nigerians, that they know that some other African countries are also doing it. But the problem they have with Nigerians is that Nigerians are too loud. It's their behavior. Exactly. About, they have about, said that. About, I've, I've heard that before. How does that make any sense? You know, they oh. here to, to, to claim that we are criminals. But while well, in actual reality, they are the bigger criminal. They are, the, as in all criminal statistics, don't favor them. They rank top five in, 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 in violent crime in the world. They number three and number one. five in worldwide. They rank, imagine. they rank number one on the continent. They rank number one on femicide. Rank number one on rape. Rank number one on gender-based violence. But they would rather come here and call us criminals. Why in actual on the continent so brother when you say that that nigerians are doing uh um, um well, powder in their country do not do not believe their rhetoric some nigerians are doing it but the far majority of nigerians in that country are not doing powder if they were doing powder the data will prove it but the data does not exist so we cannot make that conclusion but then again right uh, but then again what black beauty was saying is that's what that's why we should be talking we need to ask questions try to understand each other instead of fighting all this fighting is not solving anything can i answer mr you are, he asked are me. not solving there was, anything. There, there, there was solving anything the colors have no problems the indian have no problems the white have no problems why only the blacks why only the blacks they will never they will never answer that question they will never please kenny i want you to bring it. kenny please bro, if bro. you can if you can bring if you can bring me down i don't mind but i want you to bring somebody that is down there that can answer that question i want you to bring it to this panel so that 
even black beauty, we understand the inner mind of their people. See, it's the same. Look, this is every 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 now. What are you saying? So are we are we mm. killing them in Nigeria? Wait, 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 we don't wait, kill yes, them in Nigeria. Yeah, are we killing them in Nigeria? Nigeria is South Africa, and you are telling yes, you are wait. telling user. That's what I'm that saying. Are, are we man, killing them in Nigeria? This, this people, this people, they no, have done so much. Nigeria, them. Nigeria have been but so quiet. Our brother are more risk dead than their brother. Bro, you know they hear me. Dude, dude, chill, chill out, chill out. See, the thing. I will give you an example. Of what happened in 2013? 2013. Um, Jacob Zuma deported about is it hundred Nigerians for not having uh, some sort of vaccination? They call it the yellow fever vaccination, I think. You know what Good Luck Jonathan did? He ran out of South African diplomats and deported them almost immediately. Like the South African nice. government had to issue an official apology for that. Okay. So that is what what we mean by giving them back. So we're not holding back. We've been silent for too long. You know, their energy yeah. will be reciprocated. Exactly. That is, yeah. that is what we're saying, brother. We, we we are not here to I don't know to um pander to them anymore. It, it, it's been going on for too mm -hmm. long. Since two thousand and eight. We, we must we must take a stance. That's what we're saying, bro. bro. Hey, okay, hey, brother. listen, guys, guys, guys. So I agree. I, I agree with I agree with Black Queen, right? Listen, I agree with Black Queen, right? Earlier today, I was having a conversation with a South African, right? And I wasn't necessarily angry. I was. What we should be doing is not talking at each other, right? But we should be asking questions to help understand. Especially if you are in Nigeria and you are not living in South Africa, you don't know what they are experiencing there. You know, you can't yes. just be bashing them. Bro, 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 wait, bro, bro, okay. bro. Can I, can I ask? Bro, can I ask? I was staying there. Bro, I, I wait, left there two years ago. Guys, I was staying there for fifteen years. Can I ask Black Beauty? Can I ask Black Beauty a question? Yes, I'm here. I'm going to walk tomorrow and I will drop down. Right Gmon, now, I want to ask Black Beauty a question. Gmon, Gmon, why is it that I want to ask Black Beauty? You why is it that only Black yes, South Africa have you know that issue that with Africa? Good. We have Yo, Chinese, in good South point African, point we have uh, Indian. I'm not South hearing Africa. you because too many we people are speaking at the time, the same Africa. time. Gmon, why is it that it's only Black South Africa that have issue with Africa? And why is it that they particularly bear their anger on Nigeria? Dude, chill, chill. He has, he has made a comment here that's quite controversial. He says we don't know how they feel back in South Africa. Fine, that's given. But, but do they know how we feel back here too? Because for far too long, our people have been on a life here. Those people have family members here. People are being oh. shipped down in coffins. People's businesses oh. are, are being burned down. Those people oh. have relatives. Those people have family. Do exactly. South Africans know how these people feel? That's another question we should be asking ourselves. That is what I'm saying. We, 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 they, they, they might feel they, they, they might feel the pain, but we are also feeling the pain down here. The families of people that have been on a life doing the public attacks are feeling the pain. The relatives. Someone came on, on one life and fighting and shouting at each other. Think uh, what, what do they think? What, what do they answer be? Maybe, let's, maybe let's, let's, if let's you try to let me respond, can I respond? Let, no. let, we should start asking uh, each and how do why do you feel that way? That's a psychologist, they're supposed to get a psychologist to to help with them. It's not questions that they should ask, to, they are damaged. You know, when a person that is damaged, you can't ask them, Why do you feel that way? He's already okay. damaged, he'll do whatever. So, what we need to do is just solutions. It's whether they're going to continue like that. Also, Nigeria is just fine. Get out of the country. That's the best way to do. We've got a lot so of other things The thing is, Chris, Nigerians it's not only Nigerians that need. are not wanted. It's all the other African uh, countries as well. I know, the solution is not to just get them out because there's problems with the Zimbabweans. There's problems with Malawians. There's problems with uh, Mozambicans. The thing is this. When you see somebody in your own country, is making better than you and you do not know the source
you will always have that question and if the only thing that is put to you is that they are doing crime you will always believe that except if you come out of the country and actually learn the culture of these people or the way that they think or the way that they do things that is when you're going to understand but when you see them and you see them making it in your country when you are not able to make it in your country then you see only the thing that is put in front is that all foreigners no. they are criminals all of them they are dealing with coke all of them they are dealing with whatever crime they are being accused of that is what you're going to that's the mentality that you're going to see and what how, how we will never know where does it start we don't know who's pushing the agenda we don't know who's pushing that agenda is it a political thing is it a social thing or what but what i can say it is not all of us that, that think that way and the lady was saying that um it's been going on for a decade and we have never spoken peace we have been standing up on platforms and saying xenophobia is not right it's not the first time we're speaking it now the first xenophobic attack that happened we stood up and we we protested and said this is not on and if it was like that that all of us we feel the same then then would, there wouldn't be peace at all there wouldn't be peace at all every day they will be they will not even stay in the location because they are staying in the location what does that tell you that means we do accommodate them but there is a problem and the problem comes at a certain time or to certain people why is that we need to understand what is the root of that problem because they are in the locations they do stay in the locations they do work in the locations they are not staying in the suburbs they are not staying in town they are staying in the locations deep inside the locations and if it was so that they are not wanted by all of us they would not survive at all every day you will see that they are being burnt and they will leave so we need to understand what is the problem why is it like that i don't have all the uh, the, the, the the answers i don't have all the answers but the i can answer only speak for what i know people i'm saying that what i don't have the all the answers i don't know the